think it's quite simple really about what government can do to enable restoration of travel and that's to adopt the EU framework as it is outlined by the Commission on the 13th. That means you do not have restrictions on movement for uh, countries that are green and that are orange. And that would open up, I think, 16 markets for travel. Um, and I think that is a very, very safe strategy in the context of um, you know, the underlying risks of, of transmission. So I think the answer is there in front of us. I just think we need to get on and adopt it and actually be proactive. You know, We have a reputation in this country in aviation of getting out in front and being proactive and being leaders. And I would echo uh, Mr. Wilson's comments that we should adopt it and lead the way and set an example. Um, I think in relation to the transatlantic routes, uh, Senator, um, you know, it's obvious that we do need, the, based on sort of the criteria for US travel at the minute, we would need a testing protocol. I think, again, Ireland has some advantages in that we are a natural gateway for US passengers. Uh, we're a very, very strong destination. I think about 80% of our foreign direct investment has been coming from the US. I know business leaders are increasingly concerned about the inability to get you know, critical investors and critical leaders into the country. And I do think that testing protocol would form part of, again, uh, a very, very innovative solution that we could deploy to try and open up the transatlantic market. Um, I think it's very important to Irland, but I think the importance of the transatlantic market to the wider Irish economy is, um, is incredibly material.